Hi everyone, today's episode is going to be about fall winter trends. Trends are basically determined by what designers put on the runways and uh, obviously we can't afford you know, whatever on the runway. So street labels like H&M, Topshop and ASOS and even Block Shops have created designer inspired pieces for a fraction of the price so that all of us can afford it. There are a lot of trends every season so obviously we can't be speaking about all of them but we'll pick out our favourites and our least favourites and share them with you today. One of my favourite trends this season is colour blocking and while every season you see like four colours being very dark, very dull, um, this season sees a lot of bright colours, not neon bright but still like pretty bright, blocked against sand and more neutral shades. Mm -hmm. On runways you see lots of heavy coats and furs but in Singapore we can't do that because we're not crazy. But a very good way to combat that is to like, you know, mix it up with a blazer and the best part is even though we don't have like snow, we have a lot of rain. Well, it means that you can wear a jacket without dying in Orchard Road. A popular street style trend this season is the red coat. So, as you can see, I'm wearing a red blazer, which mm -hmm. I actually got from Bangkok like last year. So I'm going to pair the red blazer with a white structured top. Or you can also pair it with a white tank top, but like a structured top will give you a more like lady boss feel. And I'm going to pair it with striped pants. If you want to shake things up, you can always change your pants out for something in a more solid colour like thumb. I really like the fact that, you know, you mentioned that you bought the blazer last year and it's applicable to this season's trend. Which means you don't have to buy new things whenever new seasons, like, come about. Mm -hmm. So, you can just mix and match and, like, take stuff from your old wardrobe. Yeah! The designers are going crazy with leather this season. They're not just, like, featuring leather, they're making everything leather. The trend this season seems to be, like, leather on leather on leather. So, <laughs> here I have a full leather outfit, okay, starting with shoes. These are courtesy of a local blog shop, Infinite Pixie. I pair them with, like, socks with, like, a little itch of red or like a pop of colour and then I'll pair it with like a black leather skirt a uh, white top and this cardigan which is quite interesting actually it's Oh I really like it It's leather panels mm -hmm. and it's like knitted to keep you warm as well Yeah so it's not like too heavy mm -hmm. Black on grey and black on black is actually very in season as well so this also suits it very well Another thing that's in trend is knee high boots but can you wear that in Singapore? Actually I've seen like a couple of girls wear that during lectures so, I mean, maybe what I think... What lectures are you attending? <laughs> I don't know, like, I was in lecture one day and then I saw this girl come in like knee-high cowboy boots and I'm like, oh my god, that girl is so Out wrong. <laughs> and new boots are expensive, right? Yeah, knee-high boots are actually really quite expensive. Yeah, so if you do want to buy knee-high boots, an alternative would be to buy leather leggings and pair them with ankle boots. Okay, so least favourite trends. Um, this season sees a lot of pairing of beanies. But you know how usually you pair beanies with like casual wear? They pair it with like office wear. Mm. Like dresses, coats, structured shirts it's and just, pants. It's quite mismatched. It's like it's a very casual look. It's not just about that. I think a beanie just makes you look a bit silly. It only looks silly when you're in a tropical country yeah. like ours. But I mean, if you're overseas and it's winter, I guess it's really cute. Yeah. Like, you know, there are lots of like really cute like cat ears, like but beanies. You're and... only saying that because your profile picture is a beanie with a cat ear. Well, <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> so point is, you can only wear a beanie if you're in a cold country. Or if you're robbing a bank. <laughs> or um, if you're wearing a very casual outfit. Another one of my like least favourite trends this season is the turtleneck. Because, I don't know, I've never liked the turtleneck and it's just so suffocating. It's very unflattering for girls, especially if you've got like a round face. Because it just drowns out your neck and then it makes you look like a fishbowl. So, no. <laughs> just no. no. Classic patterns are making a huge comeback this season. One of my favourite patterns is tweed. I matched my tweed jacket with a pair of denim jeggings and a nice like white classy halter top. I know I've picked very spring-summer colours with all the blues and the greens but believe it or not, it's actually quite popular this season and I'll top it off with nude platform heels. Other classic patterns have also been making its way back to the runway like pinstripes, plaid and leopard prints. But the star of the runway is houndstooth. Houndstooth has always been a favourite pattern amongst like you know designers and we've been seeing houndstooth all across the runways this fall winter. Leather is also in trend this season and I've paired my houndstooth skirt with a leather tank top and a pair of leather booties. These boots are not what you think they are when you turn to the side and like whoa! I quite like it because it gives the impression that you are like floating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people are like, she walks on air. And I'm like, I know. The Varsity trend is also back this season. It was actually featured last season, but because it was spring summer, it was actually paired with a more casual and fun look. For this fall winter, designer labels are actually pairing the Varsity look with a more feminine and dressier edge. Pairing it with midi skirts, for example. Midi skirts are basically skirts that fall past your knee length, but not as long as a maxi skirt. Grey is one of the popular colours this season, and I've paired my Grey Varsity jacket with the letter A on it for Andrea. 
with a white midi skirt and a pair of cream coloured shoes for a cleaner look. I was like, I was just contemplating whether to buy this jacket or not, but because it was A and I was like, <sighs> when when do jackets actually have like A on it, right? So oh, just the jackets have A's on them. No jacket has J's or like C's or K's on them. You should complain. One of my least favorite trends this season would have to be pink because I don't really think pink is a very flattering color on me. I don't have much pink in my wardrobe actually. And my second least favorite trend would have to be the rounded shoulders thing. I just feel like taking a needle and like, pop it so like it will just. <laughs> I don't really like round shoulders as well because I think it's a bit too avant-garde. Maybe you know people of the high fashion society can wear it, but for everyday normal street wear, I don't think it's very relatable. I haven't really seen anyone with round shoulders yet though on the streets, have you? I don't know. Would you wear round shoulders? No. Yeah. So. No round shoulders. We have come to the end of the episode and if you have any suggestions as usual, leave a comment in the box below or like us on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash that mm -hmm. So we'll see you next time. Bye!